right, welcome to the last San Diego vlog for a little bit because I'm going to be picking up and traveling again. If you're new here, my name's Taylor. I've been traveling and working remote for the last year and a half now. I just did kind of like a big update in my last vlog at the end. We had like a card chat and I talked about kind of future plans and things I changed, but not gonna lie, I feel a little stressy today because I just filmed basically three video. I was filming for like six hours this morning, started at 8 a.m. It's like now the late afternoon. I had to get a lot pre-filmed. I've been trying to get like the makeup stuff pre-filmed so I don't have to pack a bunch of makeup with me. I just have a lot of like brand deadlines right now on top of trying to stay on top of the editing and then packing and tax season. <laughs> There's a lot happening right now and then just like functioning as a human on a body level So try not to stress try and just do one thing at a time and get it all done But in about a week I leave to Sedona, Arizona. By the way, this shacket thing I love this is the same exact one that I have in tan too. I got this light color and I really love it So comfy I'm really curious about the aura ring I've heard a lot about it and I was debating getting it for a while finally just decided I'm gonna try it out and I also just want to like review it for you guys and let you know what I think but this is cool so basically you buy the ring up front I thought it might like they might send you the kit first and then you pay for it but it's the opposite so you buy it first and then they send you this sizing kit and this is pretty cool so it's just plastic rings and it says on here there's a video where you can go and watch how to correctly size it i guess just to make sure you have the right one i'm definitely the smallest one i already tried them on i'm number six and six will fit on either like three different fingers basically so you go on and you select your size and then they send you the actual ring so once the ring comes in and i've tried it out for a while i'll let you guys know what i think if you we're also curious, but I like that it tracks more like sleep. It's just kind of like overall health. I'm not someone who does like workout classes. I know there's a lot of critiques on tracking for that, like fitness tracking, but we'll see. Who knows? It is pricey. And then I picked up another one of my favorite insoles. These are the women's though. I don't know. I think they're just pink. <laughs> I think that's the only difference. I don't really know how they would be different, but the Power Step brand, I get these on Amazon. I'll link them down below. I have them in these shoes right now but the right one I cut a little bit too short. So we're gonna re-cut these by we, I mean my dad. He's gonna cut it so that I get it right this time because I keep feeling like I can feel my toe on that side when I walk. My mom's making truffles for, is this for your Valentine's Day party? Yep. Finally chopped the chocolate. This is a quickie version. You just do it in the microwave. So pour heavy cream over the top, microwave it in 30 second bursts at 50% power and then stir it in between each time and you chill it for two hours so it gets a little thicker so you can when do you roll it into balls after the microwave after the two hours and this is my chance at starting <laughs> you roll it into balls and then chill it again for another half hour this is two hours after it's been in the fridge, you just scoop it with a melon ball thing. Oh, that's cute. And then you put it back in the fridge for another 30 minutes, and then you can roll it into a nice, perfect ball. And then that's when you add the topping? And that's, and that's when you roll it in whatever topping, too. Eventually. Okay, so I'm going to make them smaller because, first of all, when you roll them in the stuff, they get bigger. And secondly, they're too big. Pretty the pretty way cute. I scooped them, so. You've just come in the room when the camera turns on. Oh. Oh. So the M&Ms didn't grind up very good, but they, they kind of look like pink cocoa, so I already rolled the milk chocolate ones in that. C coconut mixed with powdered sugar. And that's ground up candy canes. Oh, that one looks <laughs> cute. Then they go back in the fridge or they can sit out for um, three days, but I'm gonna, they last a week in the fridge and three weeks in the freezer. So I'm gonna put them in the fridge. Here's my mom's final result. She's bringing them to a Valentine's Day party. These are the truffles. These look so cute on the tray too. These heart things are from Michael's. And then she put Valentine's M&Ms on the bottom. Are those peanut M&Ms? They're yeah, huge. peanuts. Okay. Life. To fill the bowl and to make it, those actually look really cute because it makes it look more Valentine's-y. A martini with ducks on the pond. Comment down below if you've heard that, if you know what it is. Little ice chips floating. Life is good. Oh. 
Lake concert. So glad that everybody came out. So thank you from Candlelight to you all for coming out celebrating amazing music from some All right, so as you can see, I have another Thrive Market grocery box delivery here. I wanted to thank them for continuing to support my channel and sponsoring a portion of today's video. If you haven't heard about them, I've been using them for years now. They're an online membership based market. Basically the best plan you can get works out to $5 a month, the membership, and you end up saving way more than that. I'll put on the screen here what I ended up saving on this order, but you can just find really good snacks. You can find different items for different lifestyles if you're gluten free, vegan, or if you just eat everything like I do. I like to find and get different snacks on there. I love that I can read reviews on different products and they just have really good prices, especially if you check out the deal section. They put stuff on a really good sale. You can find good, just like random things like gift ideas. Like I was gonna pull up the pads, not the pads. Did get a good price on <laughs> these rail pads though. This is what I meant to grab. Cute little box of truffles. They just have a lot of different kinds of brands on there and they have their own Thrive Market brand. It's an especially good time to check out Thrive Market and consider joining because their prices on a lot of the basics too, like olive oil, flour, just basic ingredients can be a lot lower than in the grocery stores right now they have carbon neutral shipping you get free shipping over $49 so and they have a thrives gives program which I love every membership that you buy they donate a membership to a family in need if you're new to thrive market and you want to check them out and join you can get 30% off your first order and you get a free gift up to $60 when you join so I'll have the link down below but it's thrivemarket.com slash Taylor Wynn let's just drop my camera flat on the lens but here's some items okay saw the truffles I actually really like these these are a repurchase and I, I do like the shape of them and they're effective these are also a repurchase but last time I got the orange ginger flavor and I wanted to try this is dragon fruit lemonade and then we have passion fruit orange guava these were good they gave me energy but I didn't have like a crash from them and I'm all about the mushroom products these days I'm real into it after watching a documentary about mushrooms this is PB2 this is just powdered peanut butter it's very curious about these they're non-alcoholic dry secco so i think it's supposed to be you know like prosecco 10 out of 10 on these love these got two bags of them this time and these are also repurchased these are also repurchased love these chips sour cream and onion these i was very interested in now that it's been like a couple weeks at least since i filmed this now that i'm editing it back oh my god i just had to update you these are my new obsession i packed like six of them with me they're so good they taste like sour candies so good so again i'll have the link for thrive market down below where you can get 30 percent off your first order and a free gift valued at up to 60 dollars. they have some good free gifts on there so definitely check them out These are the remnants of my baby blanket. I've been informed that he <laughs> currently. It's a big section of it. Look how pretty it is. Currently uses it You've as a, a rag. A rag. It's my favorite rag. It's very soft. There might be another section of it in here. Only you guys. Oh, here's more. One child, and this here's is what more. they do with my remnants. See, we have it. It's just in pieces. This is what we have of our baby. Wow. Now I'm gonna stay. I'm, I'm honored. Okay, this is officially the best night ever because we got sushi, DoorDash, and then, you know, the double DoorDash thing came up. These are the Sam, Sam is gonna hand rolls again. So I just had to add crumble cookies. I'm so excited for this one, the Kentucky, that one's Kentucky butter cake, chocolate cake, which that smells amazing, it smells like actual cake, peanut butter banana, and animal cookie. Hell yeah. This looks so good. We have a crumble cookie hater in the background, but not yeah. gonna let it stop me. Okay, here's Kentucky. I think it's called Kentucky butter or something, butter something. This is one I'm most excited about. I've heard that this is a re, like a repeat. They, oh, they brought this back from last year. Oh my God, dad, this is the best one. Oh my God, it's that's like my a favorite. Cube of butter, Hold make on, a, cut it. Yeah. a dinky slice. Oh my God, that's amazing. That's so good. That's that's good. Nasty. That's so good. Mm, mm. This yeah. one is called chocolate cake and it actually smells somehow like legit chocolate, chocolate cake. cake, so. 
I like the chocolate cookies and cream from last week. This one I'm curious about. This one is oatmeal with banana frosting and then like a drizzle of peanut butter. I looked on their Instagram. This one has really uh, mixed reviews. I actually don't- Did it taste synthetic? No, I don't taste the banana that much at all. It tastes like a mix between oatmeal and peanut butter. It's good, I actually like that. It's growing on me. I don't taste banana at all. I think they should have made this more like a banana bread, like banana bread cookie. Good, sweet, sweet good. This one is definitely gonna be a hit because it's like What's the sugar it? cookie, but animal. Oh, I like that Yeah, too. like funfetti. They did something different mm. with the frosting on this one to make it actually taste more like that cookie. That one's good, not my favorite. I like the original sugar cookie better. Okay, number one, definitely Kentucky butter cake for me. I would get like, yeah, lift your thing. I would get that every week. Now, is it recording your thing or is this just what you're saying? What do you mean? Are you recording? Yeah. Are you filming it? Okay. Yeah. And did you edit it? Are you just now learning what I do? No, on no, YouTube? but I mean that you take out like <laughs> me doing all that shit. Oh well, yeah, I'm gonna cut out all your shit. That's no, for, sure. for sure. That one is so good. Goodbye. Mm. Okay, I was just getting ready to go to dinner. I'm going to dinner with my aunt and uncle. I was doing some quick makeup. I'm gonna do my hair with this dry bar tool that I've been testing. And so far really liking, let me show you the box. Instagram reel got me on this one, but so far I'm really liking. It gives you more of like a wavy look. But anyways, we're about to talk about possibly the most random topic I've ever talked about on the internet. So I was just watching a vlog, it was Danielle Carolyn's vlog, and she's talking about how she went to this like really high-end, kind of ritzy New York City dentist, and they gave her like this goodie bag with, it was all like branded beautifully, and it just reminded me of this story from when I was in Boston last year. And there is a moral to the story, so I feel like I want to share it with you guys. My dad was a dentist, he's a retired dentist now, and had his own practice. And so I was always very fortunate that growing up, you know, orthodontists are separate. Went to a different dentist for braces and headgear and all that. But as far as just, you know, teeth cleanings and stuff, I went to my dad's office, obviously. My dad had a smaller practice, very personal. All of his patients knew him, said hi out and walking, like just like a very small family owned business kind of feel. Over the years, I think, I mean, he could speak more on this, but I think the dental industry has changed a lot. And I've listened to some random podcasts, just like business podcasts that talked about this, but just how commercial dentistry is like so much more popular now. I think that's the name for it, but basically like essentially chains, you know, of dental companies across the US or just in states where they hire mostly dentists and hygienists like straight out of school who don't have the funds or don't want to create their own practice. And creating your own practice now is a lot more expensive and um, difficult because of that than it used to be like 40 years ago, you know? So don't blame people for not wanting to start their own practice. It costs a lot more now. But anyway, so when my dad retired, I still go to the office when I'm here in San Diego. I still just practice as someone who is also a great dentist. But when I was in Boston, I needed to get a teeth cleaning. I get it, you know, every, I tried to get it every four months. And because I still go to that old office, I do really routine like x-rays and cavity checks and all of that stuff. Like, you know, they're checking my teeth good. This is the guy who took over my dad's practice. So I had just gotten cavities checked and everything when I was in San Diego, like a few months before Boston. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna, you know, find a dentist, get like one of their intro offers or whatever where they usually give you like a free exam and then they do a teeth cleaning. That's all I was gonna do because I wasn't staying in Boston. It was just like a one-time thing. So I go to this chain dental place. I mean, let's just say the experience was not, I felt from comparison what it should have been. And I'm saying this story almost as like a PSA that you can't trust all dentists and you have to really do your research. And especially if it's like a, a big chain like that, it's not a chain, I'm trying to think of the word, but I'm just gonna call them a chain. If it's like a place where there's multiple locations, just be aware. A lot of them are straight out of dental school and also a lot of them can be really scammy. And I had heard that before, but I just assumed like, oh, I'm getting a teeth cleaning, whatever, you know? I show up, I'm gonna skip a lot of the details because I don't think we wanna hear like a 10 minute story about teeth in this vlog. The teeth cleaning that I got was, I kid you not, they didn't do any of the normal like scraping to get the plaque off or anything. The whole cleaning was maximum 10 minutes. The whole cleaning, maximum 10 minutes, as, like as far as her in my mouth doing the thing. The dentist then came in to check my teeth and they had done x-rays because basically they said they needed to because it was part of like the intro offer thing or something. 
and I was like, okay, whatever, might as, might as well. I had gotten the x-rays four months ago in San Diego. They're like going through my teeth, the dentist and the hygienist, and he's calling out all these numbers. And I actually worked in my dad's office at one point in high school. So I'm like aware of, you know, the sounds of certain things. Like I know when they're measuring gum pockets and like stuff like that. And I was like, I'm pretty sure they're calling out names of teeth, like teeth numbers. They were, and basically this dentist said that I had four cavities. I've only had one cavity in my entire life and I had just gotten x-rays and my teeth were fine four months ago. So in my head, I'm thinking like, there's no way. They were like super pushy about coming back to get them filled as soon as possible. Each cavity to get it filled is expensive by the way. Luckily, I knew that I didn't have that because I had just gotten the x-rays. The entire experience was very scammy feeling, just like sketch overall. They were just trying to filter through patients as quickly as possible. Didn't really spend any time or seemed like they cared at all. Like I said, I'm leaving out a lot of details, but it was not great. I ended up getting a teeth cleaning whenever I was back in San Diego, a few months after that, had zero cavities. So they basically lied about me having four cavities, which is a ton of money for them, a ton of money for the patient, not to mention just like having to come in and get all those filled. So I just wanted to say like, do your research, read reviews. You want to find a dentist that you can really trust. You can't trust all of them. And I'm not just saying that because I do feel like my dad was like an exceptionally good and you know, I just know him and I know his character. So like, obviously he was a great dentist too and his patients loved him, but find someone who is like that if you can and be aware of these like bigger companies. And you you do have to question doctors and like all, that's a whole other rant, but you know, I've been through the ringer with doctors and you, you can't take everything they say as like gold, is that the saying? So maybe, you know, if you are choosing a dentist's office that is like very flashy and has their marketing down, is like one of these trendier places, they might be amazing. They could be totally incredible. They could have amazing dentists and have like a great experience and that would be perfect, but be careful. So that's my whole dentist rant. Just, I just want you guys to be aware and be careful and know that you can't <laughs> trust everything every dentist says and find the good ones. Maybe go on next door. That's a good place to find a legit dentist go on next door, see what people are saying, whether it's a dentist or any doctor, just how important like bedside manner is and patient care and actually like genuinely caring about the person that you're taking care of. And the thing is, especially in like medical roles, the patient doesn't know, like obviously you're not a dentist, you don't know teeth or you're not a neurologist, you know? So the, we sometimes don't even know what to question or like what's acceptable to question. So if you got an x-ray and they said they found four cavities, um, obviously like, most people wouldn't even question that. They would just say like, oh, he's looking at the x-ray, he knows what to look for, but if you can't read the x-ray, you don't know. So I just wanted to put that out there. Just know that there are good ones out there. Hopefully you can find one in wherever you are. And that's my vlog dental story, you're welcome. I'm trying to get the height right with these curls because, well, first of all, tonight I was planning on wearing a baseball hat. <laughs> So I don't want it to be like, you know, poofing out too much. I think it actually went too high. But also I never know the height with the front versus the back. I'm trying to figure out, but I do really like the waves that this gives, especially when you like comb out your hair with your fingers and kind of just make it even wavier. It just looks really pretty and like natural, but still voluminous. And for blush today, I used the new charlotte tilbury i've been loving these the pillow talk matte blushes oh my god it's hard to find a good liquid matte formula usually if it's matte it's hard to blend out these blend out like a dream but they are soft and matte and beautiful my favorite shades for a second i th thought i spaced out and had the heat on my hair okay my favorite shades are dream pop is the darker one and pink pop pink pop with tanner on is very subtle this is like definitely more of a fair skin shade but i like layering the two or just using a little bit of this one if you want that like really you know blushed up kind of look so i just realized when you're seeing this vlog i will be in arizona my vlogs are always well most of my videos are pre-filmed at least a week in advance usually two weeks but when you're seeing this i'm in arizona so if you want to follow along you can on instagram and then of course vlogs will be coming Okay, so all day, literally, this is my, I think my sixth hour, um, I've been doing a hardcore packing, cleaning, reorganizing. I have four different trips coming up that I have to pack separately for basically. So you guys will be seeing a separate video on it. I think this vlog might be up first, but there's gonna be a separate, another like pack with me video. Pillsbury, the orange ones, the ones with orange frosting are so good if you've never had them. You know, grandma used to make these. That's where I first had them. 
<laughs> you are just the cutest thing on planet Earth, simply. That's it. I con for you. Day two of filming the pack with me video. I'm like three hours in. I'm about to wash all my makeup brushes. Okay, just did my makeup, but I just had to call out that I used the Valentina foundation, but with the Bliss Block Star SPF underneath. And whoa, man. It looks so nice and so smooth. Let me get natural lighting. I'm literally outside in the garage, but doesn't that look nice? I woke up today and I had a very sudden Taco Bell craving. Popped into my head and a Crunchwrap Supreme just sounds heavenly. It's a weird time of day. It's like 2.40. I've been filming all morning, packing, just like crazy last couple days, honestly. But I'm taking a break to run some errands. I have to do some Sephora returns, get my nails done before the next trip, go back to the alteration place, which I'll tell you about. But I have like 15 minutes before my nail appointment, so I'm hoping uh, we can get a Crunchwrap Supreme in here before. Hi, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? I'm doing good, what can I get started for you? Can I please get a Crunchwrap Supreme with refried beans instead of meat? And just a Diet Coke, please. And a Diet Pepsi, what size on that one? Uh, small. Mediums are only a dollar right now if you want to do those. Oh, sure, thanks. Alrighty, Diet Pepsi, you got it. Any hot sauce with the order? Yeah, medium, please. Uh, okay, it's going to be 645, second window. Go ahead and pull forward, thank you. Thank you. Okay, have like five minutes. Have the Taco Bell in hand, got a diet Pepsi. Cheers. You know what I realized? I think my main driving pet peeve is when you let someone go and they don't even say thank you. Like it takes two seconds, man, to just go like that, you know? I don't get it. Hot sauce. I think it's been probably two years since I've had a country up. She's a beauty. So I love these purple nails, but they're getting grown out and I just don't want to have to deal with it on the trip since I know I love this place. I love this color though. I definitely want to get it again. Mm. I actually ended up bringing my own green chrome color. I ordered a pack of chrome on Amazon. I'm going to bring like four with me so I'll have enough for different cities. <laughs> is how my brain works. I've been wanting to do a green chrome for like months now, but the place I go to doesn't have chrome. I think they only have one color. So it was really cheap on Amazon. So I figured I would just order my own. So I'm excited. I'm going to do a little shorter this time. And I also might do a, like a round square rather than like super square. I'm not into almond. It just looks like witchy to me. I had to give you a close up there. And I like to get it with beans instead of meat because Taco Bell meat is real questionable. I mean, most fast food is, but. Here are the nails. I'm in love. They're like so blinding that the camera's having a hard time like doing the exposure. So shiny. So we did the chrome and two layers of top coat and I did the different shape, like a little bit more of a rounded square, shorter than I usually go. So I think by the time these grow out, like in a week, they'll be like the perfect length. I just did the Sephora returns just super quick. I didn't buy anything. I just like ran in and got that done. And now I have to go back to this alteration place because let me just tell you the situation. I think in my last vlog, I should go into the alteration place with my mom. I wish I had a before and after of the dress on. It is actually hilarious. Actually kind of sad because the dress is no longer made and um, it's a goner. It's hopefully she can do something because it wasn't cheap either. Like the alterations of that. So. Okay, that was actually hilarious. Good news. That was a, just a total mistake. She accidentally hemmed the. She somehow mixed up two of the straps and sewed them together <laughs> instead of the right ones. So we were laughing. It was all good. She fixed it. I'm so happy because I thought that was going to be a total goner. So that's exciting. Just been kind of chaotic around here because I'm getting ready to head out on the next leg of this whole nomad thing. <laughs> Luckily I got to push back my tax appointment so now I don't have to do that before I leave so that's like a huge relief. Luckily my new accountant. It's been so nice to like find someone who is on it, responds quickly, he's great, I can call him if I need to, like that's the kind of thing I was looking for and I have my stuff like pretty down now as far as systems and everything so I just really wanted someone that didn't have like a very like regimented you know forms to fill out whatever it did a whole thing where I like redid all of my payroll I set it up myself now so I run my own payroll and just got things in order so I think everything's gonna be moving and grooving now anyways before I ramble on about taxes I'm in the department store it was the really pretty one I talked about in the Paris vlog. I think this was espresso. It's basically like fancy coffee from this department store. I just really liked the packaging and it smelled really good in there. And they had a pretty display, so it got me. But I think this is supposed to be espresso 
grind, we're guessing, but we're just doing it like pour over style, black and... Yeah, let's say cheers. Let's say cheers. Ooh, it smells really good. You smell it? Not yet. It smells really good. I look like trash, so I'm not showing myself, but... Yeah. I got you the one that was like chocolate something, but yeah. it's not flavored, but it tastes... Okay, what is going on with this focus? This pistachio creamer, I've only tried it in iced coffee. You have to put in a lot though, but there's only 15 calories per tablespoon. It's not super sweet, but it does have a nice pistachio taste. Like, I like that. Yeah, I do too. Good. I got that on Thrive Market. If you had uh, their espresso grinds, but not like the pods for the machine, they'd probably make one like Keurig where you can put your own in. Our ring came in the mail after I chose the size. I did have issues on their website getting the size, so they actually had to cancel my order and then I had to place a new order. They didn't know what was going on. There was like a weird technological issue. And this is nicer. It's like, you know, soft touch packaging. The ring was sitting on top. It's on the charger right now, but there's this thing, which is just a standard cord. So I like that. I can use the same cord for my iPad. I think my Kindle, here's the cord I'm talking about. So this is actually just my Apple one, but this is how it charges. So I think blue is when it's done because it's been on for a few hours now. I haven't tried it on, haven't set it up yet, but I like that this is just very light and easy. So like this little thing is all I have to bring to charge the Aura Ring. I need to blend my face a little more. Last night I set up the aura ring though. Look at how pretty she is. It's very lightweight. I thought it was gonna be heavier. It's like comfortable on, I got a size six for reference, but you do a whole like sizing kit thing like I showed. But I slept with it on last night and it was super cool. You wake up and it gives you like the readiness score, sleep score. You can see what times you woke up, what kind of sleep you got. And then right now we're about to go to the gym. I just do 12, 3.30 or the Stairmaster, so nothing crazy. But I am curious how it tracks that and what it shows up as because I've heard it isn't like it's not a workout tracker like the Apple watch it's not as much like fitness geared as like overall wellness which is what I prefer wellness thing less fitness because I'm not doing like hardcore workouts or anything it does track your steps and everything so and I like that you only have to charge it apparently every like four to seven days it says seven days for a full charge because obviously you want to be tracking your sleep so that's really nice and I was thinking I never take off my rings in the shower so I was kind of worried about remembering to take it off and then I learned that it is waterproof you can swim with it and you can wear it in the shower and it just says to every now and then wash it with soap and water I'm curious though if the gold color comes off like if it's gonna turn more silver over time or if it's like truly plated and good quality i hope it is because i usually only like to wear jewelry that won't turn colors in the water it's really easy to set up on the app just synced with bluetooth really easily and had no issues with that we'll see see how it tracks but it was cool to wake up and i forgot to mention parker's going to town one thing i'm really excited about is the period tracker that's one of the main reasons i got it because it actually measures your temperature so if you use one of the other period tracking apps it can sync with one of them or you can just you know, keep track in the Aura app because normally you have to take your temperature, put it into the thing to, to see when you're ovulating and when your period's coming and all that. So I think it's after 60 days of taking your temperature when it will most accurately predict when your period's coming and all that. But I love that. That's huge for me, so. I just got out of the gym and my dad is fart honking his test. <laughs> dweeb, see if he does it again. There we go. <laughs> I wore the aura ring on the treadmill. I did 12, 3, 30. A couple things to note. So just like the Apple Watch, your arm has to be swinging. So if you're holding onto the treadmill, it won't accurately track it. So it automatically tracked it. It did go lower than what the treadmill said because it doesn't know that I was on incline here. And the only way I found to get the calories closer and more accurate was to put in Nordic walking afterwards. Like I edited it and adjust it to Nordic walking, which is just like treadmill, I think. But they should have like incline walking or something. Whoops, just realized my mic was faced the other way too. And just to show you, here was my sleep section last night. It says 82 good, got six hours, 53 minutes, where you were in different stages of sleep, and then your heart rate, average and everything. I'm excited to see the body temperature as it tracks it over the 60 days. 
so that it can get a better idea of everything. So, so far so good. I'll update in a couple months once I have worn it. I also really like that for traveling, I think this is much nicer, especially when you're in another country because it's just kind of a dead giveaway when you have an Apple Watch on that you're a tourist and you're kind of just an easier target. So at least this is like, you know, it's not as obvious as the Apple Watch. So by the way, I've been loving these for after workout. There's 32 grams. There's no way. It's plant protein, zero gram sugar, tastes good and they don't make my head hurt, so that's exciting. So I finally finished this book. This took me forever to finish just because the last, especially the last third, I just got less and less into it. I don't know, really didn't like the last 50 pages. I rated it, I did like an Instagram, rated it 4.4 out of five. I enjoyed it. It's definitely more character driven. If you like a fast paced book, you won't like this at all. I like, I don't know, I have mixed feelings on this. I enjoyed it. I see why it is a bestseller and like why it is getting good reviews but at the same time it wasn't like my personal favorite and I really didn't like the ending in the last 50 pages. I've got an inside out black shirt on and I'm looking like a maniac so you know what time it is. I can't believe it's already time to dye my roots again honestly. I feel like I just did this. Not like terrible terrible right now but they definitely need to be done and I don't want to have to do it at like hotels in the next couple weeks so I'm just gonna get done. But I already had this one so I'm gonna use it the IGK black. I love this one too but it's not like a blue black. I'm not gonna do it all over my Hair. I'm just doing my roots this time. I'm gonna double layer my gloves just so I don't know I don't want to risk it with the new nails and also I am gonna take off my aura ring actually just because we don't need hair dye on that guy. I forgot how cool this box is. Look how cool this opens. It just like folds apart nicely. Got my poppy root beer. I just ate leftover chipotle. Oh yes I love how this one has the barrier oil so you can put it on your head. Treatment mask and erase so for after this actually takes off really well anything that you get on your skin. But if you need a really good blue black, I'll put my favorite one here and down below. I mentioned it in my last favorites video. It is so good if you want like a blue black. Looking wild. It's so funny, looking back, like I was putting together some of the clips in this vlog yesterday. I haven't started editing yet, but I was putting them together just to see like what I had. And it's so interesting. Sometimes, I mean, these are clips from like, now I think a couple weeks of footage, probably two weeks of footage maybe. The last couple weeks have been pretty chaotic and that just you can't see any of that in the vlog so it's just funny but i'm showing like the fun clips for the most part i do have root spray in right now so it doesn't look that bad now that i leave in like a day basically i am feeling really excited i'm feeling ready for the next little journey here i'm actually really excited for sedona i'm going to sedona and then phoenix and then abroad just for a shorter trip like a couple weeks abroad especially now that i'm done with the like hardcore packing you guys will see that video coming but whoa it was a big one i'm glad i started when i did because it actually took me longer than i thought i thought i could crank it out in like a day or two but it was basically like three full days like i'm talking full days of getting everything together because i'm not i wasn't just packing for one trip like this trip i was packing for a different country this next trip and then like three other trips at different points where there was just like a lot of coordination and things happening where I'm going to be like trading off things and suitcases and it's a lot but got it and I'm excited. Today doing the final things like one last load of laundry just getting everything else put together. I'm at that point where I have like just the random bits and bobs to put away still and things like that but for the most part I'm done man. It's so funny because that always seems like such a task that I just like dread and put off but then when I'm actually doing it like it literally takes five minutes. Oh shit I forgot this was liquid. Actually, it takes like five minutes. Okay, this is liquid, the erase thing, I forgot. I'm going to end off this vlog here, looking superb, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna have the link for Thrive Market down below where you can get 30% off your first order, plus a free gift up to $60 if it's your first order. The next vlogs will be some Arizona ones. I don't know if I'm gonna have one or multiple, but I'll be there for about three and a half weeks total, I think, so there might be like two, we'll see. But I love you guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video, bye.